All right, good morning, you guys. I'm going to do a video on Jeff Shepard. I had talked about it in my last video, and I have followed through with this video on Jeff Shepard. Jeff Shepard has Ride On Radio with um, Jesse Zaboter, and I started watching a video that they did three months ago. It's episode 144 with guest triple seven, B52, and double D. And the episode is entitled, Is Jesse Esther? Now, <clears throat> a little bit of background on Right on Radio and Jeff Shepard. Um, in their description box, it talks about digital soldiers, welcome to the SOS Army. SOS Army stands for Shepherds of Sheeple Army. And there's a recruiting link there. I saw Jeff Shepard on a different video that he talked about how someone was offended that the organization was called SOS, Shepherds of Sheeple. They took exception to the use of sheeple, as do I. And Jeff laughed about it and said, well, guess what? It's sticking. So Jeff is determined to call all y'all sheeple. Because I'm not signing up for this right off the gate. I'm not signing up for it. I'm not a sheeple. And I'm not a fan of what they're doing over there. But anyway, um, so that's what Jeff thinks of you guys. Sheeple. And they're the shepherds. I was going to say, sign me up. And then, you know, follow through with, no, I'm being sarcastic. Because... No, oh, no. Um, anyway, all right, in the description box, there's a link to Jesse's Patreon. Now, I'm gonna say right here, Jesse's making some money. Do not think that Jesse is not making money. I have no idea how much money she would be getting on Patreon, but she has made money off of the quote-unquote books that she has self-published on Amazon. So I've checked into that and I, I don't have any way of knowing about Patreon, but I, I know that people are generous. Look at what they deal, did for Phil McConnell. My understanding is that the contributions to Phil McConnell reached over $100,000. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's a motive. Sorry, but that's a motive, guys. Um, anyway, so Right on Radio basically has a mission statement on their description box. And it says, live right in the real world. We talk God and politics faith-based broadcast, top-level intel by hosts Jeff and Jesse. News, views, opinions, and attitudes. We are your news now. Keep the faith. We are your news now. They never forget to say that. I don't know which is worse, MSM or y'all sitting up here selling all of this garbage in the name of God and abuse children. So on this particular episode of 144 that happened three months ago, I've given you their description, who's there, everything else. Now, I'm going to say, with guest triple seven, B-52, and Double D. Here's three grown men 
they're showing their faces on YouTube and they're coming up with these little PSYOP names for what? It's like people have decided they're going to li live a Tom Clancy novel. I don't know these men. I don't I went on to I listened to the whole program and they went on to say things that I actually agree with and there were things that sounded really good. But what is the deal here? I I'm I'm making a point about those men and their names and why are you doing that? And then they're also included in this thing that Jeff on this video episode 144 one minute in Jeff lies to you and to me straight faced with a huge smile on his face he launches into the big lie that Jesse is a best selling author a best selling author on Amazon. You will see from the, um, <laughs> now I can't think of what I'm trying to, you will see from the video, Jesse was not recognized by Amazon as a best selling author. Now, this book that Jesse self-published on Amazon came out on April 24th, and it shoots up to the best seller on Amazon in approximately two months. That's what Jeff is telling you. It's a 60-page book. She's charging $18. It's called The Anointing That Overflows. It's a prayer compilation, and it's book one. Evidently, there's going to be more. So this video that Jeff and Jesse and B-52 and Double D and Triple Seven made three months ago by YouTube Records, one minute in, Jeff lies about Jesse's book being an Amazon bestseller approximately two months after Amazon Records show the book The Anointing That Overflows goes on sale. While Jeff makes this big announcement, Jessie nods her head and smiles. Nods her head and smiles. There was no thank you, Jeff. Jeff didn't congratulate her. I didn't hear a congratulations. He just said, She's a best-selling author. Well, one minute in, he makes a statement, and then two minutes later, I'm checking Amazon to see if this book is recognized as a bestseller by Amazon, and it's not. So three minutes after I've started this video or saw that one minute of video, I know that Jeff is a big fat liar and that he is boisterous while he does it. And Jess is just sitting there smiling. Yes. Then after that, Jeff quickly segued into the Kim Clement three minute clip of Kim Clement talking about a prophetess and then the title of this program for Jeff and Jesse is is Jesse Esther and um, Jeff thinks that she is well no I, I'm not going to put words in Jeff's mouth 
he's going to leave it up to the audience to decide. Well, I could say more about that. It's just not necessary. Because yesterday afternoon, I noticed that Right On Radio is on live. So I tried to go on their live, and it I don't know what happened, but it wouldn't let me on there. So I don't know if they had me blocked in that way or something. I don't know if that can happen. I don't know. But anyway, I couldn't get on. But I did rewatch it, I, I, you know, on the playback. So on that program, that live yesterday afternoon from Right On Radio, Jeff and this other woman go full-blown sovereign citizen. Full-blown sovereign citizen. Search YouTube for sovereign citizen. Well, I watched enough of the video. Jeff wants you to pay your mortgage off and stop paying the taxes on your property to the government. That's just a little nugget from the sovereign citizen. <clears throat> so here's Jeff Shepard calling you sheeple, wants you to sign up to be a sovereign citizen Check YouTube for Sovereign Citizen. Check YouTube for Sovereign Citizen and see where it leads. You will lose every solitary thing that in your life. Many times your freedoms because the cops just don't play with Sovereign Citizen. The law doesn't play with sovereign citizen. They call them paper terrorists. Which is one reason that Phil McConnell thought that he could get away with what he was doing. He was buying into the sovereign citizen. I wonder where Kirk Pendergrass is in all of this. All right, you guys, I, that's enough for me. I don't know what it does for anybody else, but that's enough for me. And Jeff Shepard can take a seat and he can stop using God. He can stop using Jesus and everything else unless he's going to do it in a more respectful manner. And that means don't be sitting there lying one minute into a video and trying to sell this book. This is very offensive. I am offended. I'm not easily offended, but I'm offended. Y'all need to stop this. Clean up your act. Clean up your act and then talk about it. In any case, Lord bless you guys. In Jesus' name. <laughs>